Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11, the final release, is getting closer, and that's on the 5th of October this year, 2021. And as many of you know, will be a free upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 if your current machine meets the minimum hardware and system requirements of Windows 11. Now, because the 5th of October is um, just around the corner, so to speak, Microsoft now has started releasing Windows 11 build 22000.194 and this can be uh, downloaded um, uh, in the release preview channel now. So if you are uh, uh, signed up to the release preview channel in the Insider program, you can now get this latest preview build of Windows 11, which is going to be very similar to the actual final stable release rolling out on the 5th of October. Obviously, it's still an, uh, uh, in release preview, so it's not a stable final version and will have a couple of minor issues and bugs but obviously microsoft will uh, work on those and uh, obviously will try to improve those before that final release on the 5th of october now this is just a screenshot of that process and if you are um in the release preview channel and obviously you meet those hardware and system requirements of windows 11 you can go and seek for the update by going to your settings update and security windows update and then check in for updates and then you can manually select and download and install windows 11 and as i say that's if you are signed up in the release preview channel currently now you have a couple of options here upgrade to windows 11 is ready and it's free and get the latest version of windows with a new look new features and enhanced security and then note some windows 10 features aren't available in windows 11 certain apps and features may have additional requirements. And then you, obviously you can download and install Windows 11 uh, manually, or you can stay on Windows 10 for now. And if you, if you select stay on Windows 10 for now, then you will get the uh, second feature update rolling out for Windows 10 this year, 21H2, also known as the October 2021 feature update. Now, this is gonna be a simple process and will be like any other feature update in the Windows operating system. And as I say, Windows um, feature updates are not a mandatory and, co and compulsory. They are optional, as you can see in this uh, screenshot. And apparently the size of the Windows 11 upgrade is gonna be about three gigabytes, give or take. And this is because um, unlike you know normal feature updates, this is gonna be quite a large update due to those uh, new features rolling out with Windows 11. Now basically the rollout plans of Windows 11, um, and that's of course uh, if your device uh, supports uh, the system requirements of Windows 11. Um, the upgrade process, not everybody will see it on the 5th of October. And as mentioned in previous videos, um, this update will uh, uh, initially be offered to select devices. And those are the newer devices as I've mentioned in previous videos. And then that upgrade and rollout process to Windows 11, if your device supports those system requirements, will take place um, slowly onwards into next year, 2022. And then if you can't wait until then, or if you're not getting it initially and you can't wait to get Windows 11, you can use the media creation tool and the update assistant. Um, you can just do a search for that online and you can upgrade your current uh, Windows 10 machine using that process. So I just wanted to let you know that Windows 11 build 22000.194 is now available in the release preview channel. And that's more or less going to be what the final version of Windows 11 uh, is going to look and feel like when it rolls out on the 5th. But obviously there are still a couple of little improvements that Microsoft will have to make uh, before that final release. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.